Okay, so you're watching this because you want to know how to create your own calendar table in Power BI. So we're going to start. The first thing we're going to do is, of course, open Power BI. And then we're going to go to Edit Queries. And in Edit Queries, you're going to click Create a New Query from a Blank. And I have a code in here that I already copied and I'm going to copy it here down the video. So basically you need a start date, then an end date, and this other function here that will add one day from the start to the end date. So we're going to go ahead and create that, click done. Now we're going to convert that list into a table. Click OK on there and I'm going to change this to date. Going to go ahead and change the name of the table to calendar. And now, if we go to this add column here, we can start adding. So we're going to add a, the year. We're going to add the start of the month. We're going to add the name of the month. We're going to add um, the month number itself. I'm going to change this to month num. And we will use that in the future. And I actually like to, oh, let me change this because this, I don't want to see that. Okay. I actually like to create a small column here um, with just the first three letters of the text. So I can just do this. And that's actually the one that I am going to name month. And there's many other things that you can add in there, like, you know, week of the year, um, start of the quarter. Let's go ahead and just add one more. We're going to say start of quarter. And now you can close and apply. So now when you when you apply that um, and, and save the changes, your calendar table will load. Now I want you to take a close look at this. I'm going to go ahead and add the date to this account so that we can see what's happening. So let's zoom in. Make this a little bit larger. So as you can see, your our month are not sorted chronologically, but just they're sorted by letter. So we're gonna go ahead and go here and let's fix this so that it can show us first the right format. Same here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, hey, I want you to sort this month by the number of the month. And then our month name, we're gonna do the same, sorted by the number of the month. And then what's gonna happen is that, voila, now it's sorts based on the actual order of the month instead of just the name. So um, that's it. So I'm glad you watched this video and I hope that it helped and I hope you come back to see more stuff. So see you.